welcome to series four of our smoothie school where we're discussing all about nut butters. So this has been a four part series and I'm so excited to be talking about nut butters today in this lesson. So I'm just gonna wait for my co-host, um, Louise from Look Well with Lou to join. Here she is and then we will get started. Here are the nut butters today. Just waiting for her to join. Hi. Oh, here she is. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. You're in a different situ today. Yeah, I'm in my office today because I've got all my little ones at the house and there's no way I could do this with all the little whippersnappers running around. <laughs> Have they broken up from school? They break up on Friday at midday. <gasps> You're going to have all four. Yeah, let the summer games commence. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, honestly, well done, you. I think, it's, I think it's fantastic. I've got two, and that's, you know, wow. Um, anyway, so I was just explaining how we are doing our final session of this Smoothie School series, Nut Butters, which is super exciting. Um, so we've, we've already done lesson one with the anatomy of the smoothie, which you can find on both of our IGTVs. We've also did... Um, plant-based milks, so milk alternatives, yeah. and then smoothie boosters. Mm -hmm. And so today is nut butters. And it's just so exciting to, you know, s explore the different things that you can add to a smoothie and to make it just so nutritious and just to fuel your body with the most incredible, colorful foods to make you feel amazing from within. That's what it's all about. And we've both got a free smoothie guide that you can download from both of our bios, both of the links in our bios, which is a 22 page guide which contains loads and loads of hints and tips about the things that you can add in your smoothies. It has all the catch up details from all the lessons that you may have missed, so you haven't got to take loads of notes. And it's got loads of recipes in there, lots of um, recipe inspiration as well and extra credit of the kind of things that you can do with your smoothies, such as making smoothie bowls and things like that. Um, so I think we'll get straight into it. Do you just want to quickly talk about the giveaway? Yeah, so we're running a competition for you. So if you um, pick an app of your smoothie or screen grab this and share it out, um, tag your teachers. So tag Sarah and tag me and then use the hashtag School, and you'll enter in for a giveaway to win um, a collection of curious superfoods. So to really up-level your game, there's nine superfoods and superfood powders. So things like maca, turmeric super blend, green blends, um, plant-based protein powders. So yeah, if you want to enter that competition to win, that would be amazing. So take a snap, share it, tag us, and tag Smoothie School. Amazing. That is so exciting. So I think we'll get straight into it. So we've got um, a few nut butters that we're going to choose from. Now, there are so many nut butters. Virtually, virtually all nuts can become nut butters just by grinding them down. But we have selected the most common ones, should we say, that are easy to um, get, um, get hold of because that is the most important thing. We don't want to be giving you, you know, crazy different nut butters that are really hard to come by. We want to get really to make it nice and simple. So we're going to kick off with almond butter. Now, almond butter has to be my personal favorite for a variety of reasons. So being into fitness, it's so high in protein, it's unbelievable. It's so, so high in protein. There's about eight grams of protein um, per serving in um, almond butter, and it's fantastic to satisfy any hunger pangs. It just really, it's, it has so many different nutrients in it, I can't begin to tell you. It's got your vitamin E, your magnesium, your zinc, your copper, your um, omega-3, your potassium. I mean, it literally has everything in it. And it's so good for your hair, your skin, your nails. It really is amazing. And also, it's fantastic for your cholesterol. Now, when I say cholesterol, when um, you talk about cholesterol, you've got your good cholesterol, which is your LDL, and you've got your bad cholesterol, which is your, um, sorry, your bad cholesterol, which is your LDL, and your good cholesterol, which is your HDL. And it really, really boosts that HDL even more. So if you do have high cholesterol, just by having that little bit of um, almond butter, little and often, every in um, um, uh, moderation, will really, really, really make a difference. So it also will control those blood sugar levels. It's great for your bone health. 
it's great for your energy and also it's really slow digesting as well so as I was saying you know with the um, how it will satisfy your hunger pangs because it is quite high um, high in calories being a nut don't be fooled don't be scared about not having it it's so good it's got really 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 good fats in it so almond butter is a really good one to have and it's great for your cover of your muscles for your immune system, I mean everything. It's just so good and it's just the protein element is fantastic. And it's not too high in calories. So we'll go on to other nut butters which are higher in calories. It's not so high in calories. That's why it's a really good nut butter to go for and it's a great snack and it's good to add to your um, smoothies. Do you have anything to add to almond butter? Oh, no, I love almond butter. I think that it almost is like slightly normal peanut butter doesn't it in terms of its nutritional profile just because it's got that really high amount of vitamin E in which is really antioxidant um, but I think the thing with most nut butters I always ask my clients what is the best nut butter like, I always hear that yeah king of the nut butters um, and I think the thing with nut butters is you can't really rank nut butters because yeah. ranking nut butters is a little bit like ranking vegetables like vegetables are all good for different reasons. And I think it's the same with nut butters. They're all good. They all have the same benefit. They've all got that amazing blend of protein, um, omega threes, and fiber. They've all got that trio of amazing vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin E, and B vitamins. Those energy boosting vitamins, the vitamins that are good for your um, antioxidants and your skin and your, and your nail health. And they've all got that amazing blend of minerals. Well, they've all got potassium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. So all nut butters have got the same benefit, but it's just slightly different nutritional profile. Delicious. There's no such thing as the best nut butter. It's about yeah. one is potentially best for your own nutritional needs and your fitness. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's really hard to pick a favorite or the best nut butter, isn't it? Um, I've got a really interesting nut butter. I've got walnut butter. Okay. Um, walnut butter is really delicious. So this is my jar of walnut butter. This is what it looks like. In the... So it's quite pale in colour compared to normal nut butter. Um, walnut butter is really good for three reasons. It's really good for your brain health. It's really good for your heart health. And it's good for your gut health. And that's why it's, it's kind of one of my favourite nut butters. If I had to pick one, I probably would go for walnut. Um, it's really good for your brain health because it's the nut butter with the highest amount of omega-3 in it. And omega-3 is really good for your cognitive function, your memory, your focus, your concentration, helping to banish that sort of brain fog feeling that so many of us suffer from. And you can remember that walnuts are good for brain health because if you look at a walnut, it kind of looks like a brain, right? So walnuts are really good for your brain health. They're really good for your heart health because as well as being the nut with the highest amount of omega-3, they've also got the highest amount of antioxidant power in them as well. So they're really going to help you fight inflammation. They're going to help boost that good cholesterol high, but lower that bad cholesterol. And they're going to help protect your blood vessels. So they're really good for heart health. Um, then thirdly, they're really good for gut health because of the polyphenols. And that really creates a good gut environment. Those good bacteria to thrive. And good gut health is so important for your immune system. Most of your immune system is based in your gut. It's really good for your mood. Most of your serotonin, your happy hormone is made in your gut. Um, because of the high omega-3s in these little beauties, it's also a really good choice if you're a vegetarian or vegan and you're looking for a good plant-based source of omega-3. The only downside of my beloved walnut is that it doesn't have quite as much protein and fiber nut butters. But if you want to look after your heart health, your brain health, and your gut health, this is a really good choice. It's also one of the more sweet nut butters as well. So it's quite good if you've got a sweet tooth as well. I have to say that that um, nut butter sounds perfect for a mum in terms of giving us clarity to take away that, um, that fog, I have to say. And the thing is, is that, like we were saying, we you could... Um, pair this 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 um, particular nut butter um, walnut with a different so for example a um, um, a higher protein um, yogurt for example so you are getting the benefits together but just in different forms that's why we always say there isn't necessarily one that's better than the other it's about combining them together to make that strength that's and it I think, if you're popping this one in a smoothie because it's not so high on protein fiber definitely get some yogurt in there your 
probiotic yogurt or kefir. And Full fat. Yeah, exactly. And make sure you get some fiber in there. So yeah, chia seeds, it could be flaxseed, it could be oats. Exactly. That's why smoothies are just the most fantastic thing. Smoothies over juices because you get that fiber element. And fiber is something that we really, really don't get enough of. Anyone doesn't get enough of fiber. It's really, really simple. So yes, um, those, those boosters, you can head over and do um, catch up about our um, booster session last week um, on our IGTVs because honestly, we covered 15 different boosters <laughs> last week. It was incredible. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, this, this was the almond butter I forgot to show you. Mm -hmm. So it's um, quite sort of, you know, lightish in colour. Yes, this is a family favourite, I must say. Um, really nice and it smells, oh, it just smells so good. And it's, and it's not too, you know how sometimes when you have a nut butter, it can leave that taste, it can be quite dry in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Almond butter, I feel, doesn't have that dryness, which yeah. is quite good. Yeah. Whereas peanut butter, on the other hand, butter isn't it so crazy that until fairly recently right relatively recently when you went into a supermarket it was just peanut butters and yes that's the supermarket literally half the aisle is filled up with all these incredible nut butters but so much more choice haven't we but it does make it slightly harder to navigate which one should you be going for doesn't it and that's a very interesting point when you say um hard which one to, um, to navigate I personally get all of my nut butters from a shop called Source. Mm -hmm. Now, Source literally, they put the nuts into the grinder and they will grind it into the pot. It's really simple. It is 100% peanut yeah. or 100% um, whatever it is, it's 100%. Yeah. And you can actually get 10% off if you're um, um, ever going to Source um, with London Mums Fitness. But Maybe. what I am going to say, sorry. It looks like an amazing store. I'm definitely going to... It's up. incredible. It's so, it's so green in the sense that you have to take all your own packaging, which is really, really good. You know, there's no waste, no plastic. There's no plastic inside, which is fantastic. But, um, yeah, so that's where I get my peanut butter and almond butter from, personally. Um, so they grind it in front of my eyes. I take my jar, they fill it up. Thank you very much. I'm going home. But when you are looking on the, shop, um, on the shop shelves, there are lots that will have other things in it. And you've got to look at the purest forms. You've got to not have those nasties. Mm. So you don't want to have the palm oil. You don't want to have the added sugar, the added salt, mm. anything else that could preserve the nut butter. Nut butter should be pure. At the end of the day, you are what you eat. So you want to eat that pure form. Because otherwise, if you have something that's got added salt in it, you're then going to get really thirsty, you'll get really hungry, so you're going to have other side effects. So that's why you want to keep it really, really um, nice and pure. My, um, my personal go-to um, go brand, I'm not sure about you, Lou, but would yeah. be Meridian. Yeah. I quite like Meridian for um, nut butters. There we are. Yeah, this is a real choice, because if you look on the ingredients, like you were saying, actually, I know we're helping you navigate the nut butter aisle in this them are kind of going through different nut butters and their benefits but like i said at the beginning they've basically got all the same benefit a slightly different profile but it's actually much more important not the type of nut butter actually what's in the jar like you totally in the jar so you want to look for as few ingredients as possible and when you look at this brand so a really great brand let me just find the list uh, the ingredients organics on full stop so there's no added salt no added sugar you don't want to be eating a dessert you know yeah. you don't want to be eating a dessert with your nut butter some of the fat sort of sugar no preservatives and no palm oil like you said is really important it's a hydrogenated oil it's really bad for your cholesterol so you want to look for a nut butter you need to stir if you need yes. to stir it yes that's fine that means there's no palm oil in and some it really helps when brands leave their products clearly this is a, such a good brand because on the front no palm oil on the top you need to stir me because i don't have palm oil and on the ingredients list it just says organic roasted sunflower seeds and then it says no palm oil no sugar no salt no preservatives so i because love that's that. exactly i think that's fantastic just literally spell it out because people need that i have to say they need that. And I think it's really important because it will yeah. affect the taste or affect the, you know, the nutritional content. Yeah. Um, and you obviously want to go um, really down that correct route. So, yes, I think that is really important. So going back to peanut butter, mm. this, I have to say, will probably come close to my personal, um, one, uh, one of my other go-to um, nut butters, I have to say. 
It's really high in protein. It's got eight grams of protein per serving, which is incredible. It does have that drying taste, I find sometimes. So I personally really like to um, um, perhaps ha um, have it on some toast, maybe with some raspberries on top and some chia seeds maybe, which is really nice. But it's got lots and lots of healthy fats in it. So yes, all nuts have fat in it, but they are good fats, so do not be afraid of them. You've got to embrace them and love them because they are good fats for a lot of different reasons. Um, this one is great for, because of the, um, the high protein content, great for your muscle repair, um, great for your recovery as well. Um, it's also got lots of um, potassium in it to support your immune system um, and lots of B6 and zinc, which is really good for your brain health as well, which is really important. Um, and because of the high protein content, it's great for your, um, when I say weight control, I'm talking about um, satisfying your hunger, so not, make, so not giving you that spike mm -hmm. in hunger. I'm not saying if you have lots of peanut butter, you're going to lose weight. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that it will really keep mm -hmm. your hunger pangs down um, and keep your blood sugar levels low um, and keep you full for longer, basically. Um, so, yeah, peanut butter is, is just a huge fan of mine, I have to say. Yeah, I have to say, like, the original nut butter... Kind of lost its spotlight because all of these new fancy nut butters. Totally. But don't forget what I said at the beginning. All nut butters have that amazing blend of high, high amazing um, omega So those healthy fats, got their protein, they their fiber. They've all got vitamin A, E, and B vitamins, and they've all got that potassium, iron, zinc, and magnesium. The good thing about the humble nut butter, the original nut butter, is it's a really affordable nut butter. Totally. A lot of these like hazelnut butters or sunflower seed butters or um, walnut, they're really pricey. They are. Get a lot of amazing nutritional benefits from the OG of the nut butters, the original nut butter, peanut butter. And it is the one with the best amount of protein in. So yeah. really good for post-workout smoothies, really good for post-workout snacks. Amazing on a stick of celery or a carrot. Oh, so it's such a good snack with that, I have to say. Yeah. yeah, or on a rice cake, anything like that. It's honestly fantastic. You can put it into your porridge to really pimp that porridge up. It's so versatile. And the flavour can easily be blended in quite well. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It's just quite peanut, quite bland. Yeah. But really nice. As well, um, plain peanut butter is great. Um, walnut is also good for kids. It's quite sweet. And cashew butter is quite nice for kids too. They're sort of the sweeter of the nut butters through that are quite good to get you know they haven't got the nut allergies speaking of nut allergies that brings me on to my nut that I'm there, which is sunflower seed butter so this isn't hands up my favorite nut butter it's quite a bitter tasting nut butter but it would be a great choice for you if you have a nut allergy or a nut sensitivity the other reason you might reach sunflower seed butter is because it's got an amazing amount of magnesium in it. It's the nut butter with the highest amount of magnesium, and magnesium is a pill. So if you're going through time of stress or anxiety and overwhelm, magnesium is in your body. Um, so you replenish that magnesium diet, and uh, magnesium is really going to help you chill out a little. The edge of overwhelm dials down stress. It helps you get your beauty sleep at night. And it's also really powerful for combating inflammation. And when we're stressed, it kicks off an inflammatory response in our body. So magnesium is really important to help counterbalance the negative effects of stress. So yeah, this is a really great choice if you are allergic to nuts, a seed butter, um, and if you're feeling a bit stressed and overwhelmed because of that, that nature's chill pill. Um, the downside, seed butter like i said i'm not a massive fan of the tea it's quite a green um color to it the downside of it is it's not particularly high in protein compared to the others so it's not your first choice for post-workout recovery um and it's quite high in calories so go easy on it if you're looking to maintain your weight um but if you've got nut allergies and if you want to boost your magnesium fantastic that sounds really good and and um, how would you say the taste is it's bitter. I find bitter. the taste. So, um, yeah, I find some themselves are quite bitter. They are quite bitter, yeah. Um, yeah, I find it quite bitter, nut butter. I, I do have a sweet tooth. 
me, the walnut butter, the cashew. The walnut wins. Way. I'm a huge fan, I have to say, and my boys like it as well. Um, so I'm just going to talk about the um, cashew butter now. I've actually just got cashew milk. I have actually got cashew butter with me um, because I'm going to be adding that into our smoothie later. Um, but cashew butter is probably one of the creamiest nuts. Um, it's fantastic to replace anything um, such as um, dairy or cream in any sort of recipe. So if you wanted to have that extra creaminess, um, you know, mixing it with banana, something like that is really good, but it's super, super, super high in calories. So yes, you know, once again, um, this, this, this nut has got lots of protein in it as well, but it's really high in calories. So I definitely wouldn't go for it if you're trying to uh, manage your weight, um, should we say, but definitely have, have some in um, moderation for sure, but it is high in calories. It's got loads of great amino acids in it, magnesium as well which is um, great to chill you out. And, and because it is high in calories, it will keep you very full for a long time. Um, and it's great for your metabolism and your bone health. It's, it's, it's a great nut butter. It's really, the taste is quite um, bland, should we say, and very creamy. So when you do mix it, it will, you know, um, come quite white, um, depending on what you're having. Um, and it's really high in iron as well, so it's great for your strength. I love it for baking. It's really good in baking. Um, and again, it's one of those sweeter ones as well. So if like, you've got a bit of teeth and you want to satisfy that with much sugar, then it's a good way to do that. But you've got to control it because you could easily... Oh my God. Just that's... spoon the jar. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. So that covers the butters that we have been, um, that we're talking about. Because you haven't got any more that you're covering, are you? No, I've, that's all of them. But I think... Uh, like, there's no such thing as the best nut butter. There's no yes. nut butters. So have a listen back to when we saved it and grab the free download from the link in our bio and recap over those benefits and just see which one you think you need a little bit more. Whether you need a bit of heart health support or brain function or gut health support or whether you need some more magnesium. And pick your nut butter according to your personal needs. But really importantly, rather than the type of nut butter, look those labels you want yes. to no palm oil no added salt no added sugar um, because... yeah you want to keep it pure you are what you eat just keep it really nice and natural and um don't be afraid of the of the fat content it's a good fat it's good for you but like we say in in, in all of these lessons everything in moderation so little and often is absolutely fine just don't go for a whole jar of cashew for example or a whole jar of peanut really have everything in moderation and go back to the anatomy of uh, the smoothie so you can see what you can match things with. So if you've got the high protein in the peanut, but then you want to have more something else, then you can really match them um, together quite nicely. That's it. So we, I think we're ready to start yeah. making. Are you, are you making yours? You've got it there. Fantastic. Taking it, taking it to the office. Really oh, good. Yeah. I have, actually have a YouTube in my office. Yeah. Oh, because, like, the smoothies are so good. Snack. So that mid morning snack and that mid afternoon snack, so good to keep you going. You know, you get all of those nutrients and eat the rainbow. Each day. Such a smoothie fan. I Practice like. what you preach. I love it. Yeah. Very good. It's really good. Honestly, I always tell my clients, you know, there's there's never an excuse not to make a snack like this that is so highly nutritious. Yeah. Because it doesn't take long. You chuck it all together. You follow the guide. You know what you're going to be making, and they're all ingredients that are so accessible it's not crazy different things that you know that you probably won't have it in your um in your cupboard or your fridge or your freezer um that's 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 the beauty anyway so today we are making banana cacao and peanut butter smoothie yeah heaven. yes but it's nutritional it's healthy it's good for you and it will keep hunger locked up for a very long time yeah um, so in here we've got um, a banana. Mine's not frozen, but you can. But it is good to have a frozen banana. So you've got that really good potassium in there. Um, I've got two dates just to add a bit of sweetness. Um, I've got some frozen cauliflower in there as well, just to get my vegetables in there. Um, and I've got my cup of oats, which is my carb, and will also definitely keep me um, fuller for longer. Um, I've got my cacao as my booster. Yeah. and peanut butter as my fat and I've also got my yogurt to um, have that extra bit of fat in there as well and then I'm going to mix it with some cashew milk. 
So that is what I'm going for. What, um, which milk have you chosen? I've got coconut milk because that had open in my fridge. Um, and I, I had a nice with chocolate and a banana. Nice. I was going to go for that, but I decided to go for this one. So let's have a little bit of a blend. Some noise. <laughs> good one isn't it clara if you did use the frozen banana and the frozen budget, you could have it as a smoothie um, okay, i think mine i think mine will be a smoothie bowl if i'm honest look at this oh that's the perfect texture that looks absolutely divine cheers fine cheers amazing mm. oh delicious Anything with banana, cacao, and nut butter gets my vote. Totally. Oh. Mmm. That is fantastic. That is a perfect dessert. It's so delicious. It really is good. I think if, you know, but it's not, but it's not bad for you. That's the good thing. But once we say everything in moderation. All the good stuff. I think mm. to mention with smoothies, if anyone suffers with bloating, um, so you a lot of raw fruit and veggies can sometimes cause you to bloat afterwards but when you've made your smoothie following this anatomy guide that we've got in our free download your smoothie will be the perfect technique to actually give you a couple of chews in your mouth before you swallow it so try not to gulp your smoothie down without that first point of the question happens in your mouth it really helps to ease the strain of your system and it will help to ease any bloating or even better like i said make it with frozen banana and the fruit it. pour it into a bottle with a spoon that really yeah. helps you to chew it more and give your a bit of a helping hand and i personally like to use a teaspoon so it makes it a a a it makes it last longer and also it makes you enjoy what you're having a lot more and you do get fuller quicker as well yeah. um so it is so it's a perfect snack so i think this one i probably will be getting a teaspoon out because it's really quite thick but it's lovely it's really really nice i have to say so this rounds off our nut butter series today. So yeah. as we were saying, we've got the link in our bio mm -hmm. um, to get your smoothie guide, which is free. And it contains all of the lesson um, notes that we've covered, all of the topics, the anatomy of the smoothie, the um, alternative, plant, um, alternative, milks to pl um, alternative milks to plant, and we've got our nut butters and our smoothie boosters as well. And then we've got the giveaway. Do you want to talk about the giveaway? Yeah, so if you share a picture of your smoothie or something you've learned really useful and you tag your team members, tag Sarah at like, and myself at Live Well With Blue and just use hashtag smoothie school to see it, then you'll be entered in for a bundle of nine superfood super powders to really up the game. Amazing, that is absolutely incredible. And this concludes our school. Yeah. So thank you so much, everyone. Any questions you've got, let us know. We'll be saving this one to our IGTV. Yeah. And class dismissed. Falls out for summer. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Lou. Thanks, Sarah. Lovely to see you. See you. Bye. And thank you.